This is divisibility by three. So we'll ex be exploring uh, numbers to see when a number is divisible by three. Uh, this is 9,738. And for this work, we'll be starting to look at the units place. So the question is, uh, which units values are divisible by three? We know that three is divisible by three. We know that six is divisible by three. And we know that nine is divisible by three. Here we have eight units. Is that divisible by three? No. So we'll keep those eight units as work for further research. Let's look at tens. Let's look at 110. Is 10 divisible by 3? No. But if I took away one unit from 10, I would have 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes. So for each of these tens, I'm going to basically take away one unit. And then what's left would be divisible by 3. What about 100? Is 100 divisible by 3? No. But if I took one unit away from 100, I would have 99, which is divisible by 3. So let's take one unit away for each of our hundreds. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hundreds. So I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units away from the hundreds. And then that would be divisible by 3, what's left. What about 1,000? Is 1,000 divisible by 3? No. But if I could take one bead, just one bead away from the 1,000 beads for this cube, how many would I have? 999. Would that be divisible by 3? Yes. So I'm going to take one unit away for each of these 9,000s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So for each 1,000 I took one unit away to make that thousand divisible by three. So here are the nine units, for one for each of the nine thousands that I took away to make the thousand divisible by three. To make a hundred divisible by three, I took away one unit so that then that value is divisible by three. So here's seven units that I took away, one from each of the seven hundreds. I took one unit away from each of the tens to make them, that ten, divisible by three. Here's the one unit I took away from each of the three tens. And here are the eight units that I started with because eight wasn't divisible by three. So I have nine for the nine thousands, seven units for the seven hundreds, three for the three tens, plus eight for the eight units I started with. So with these units taken away, I know that what I have left here is divisible by three. Now let's see if what I took away is divisible by three. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine plus seven, plus 3, plus 8. 9 plus 7 plus 3 plus 8 is 27. Is 27 divisible by 3? Well, we can prove that, if we didn't know it already, by creating groups of 3 from the 27. And yes, we can see that 27 is divisible by 3. So that tells us that if all of these values 
were divisible by 3, and what was left is divisible by 3, then the original number, which was 9,738, is divisible by 3. So the rule for divisibility by 3 is that when the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 3, then that number is divisible by 3.